Hello everyone, and welcome to my official 2022 Atlantic hurricane season forecast. On this outlook, I'm going to explain the factors that will play into this hurricane season, and how they may affect it. And at the end, I will reveal my final forecast on the season. Without further ado, let's start with the first part of this video, which will be explaining what the El Nino Southern Oscillation is, and how it affects our hurricane season. Simply put, the El Nino Southern Oscillation is an irregular periodic variation in winds and sea surface temperatures over the tropical eastern Pacific Ocean, affecting the climate of much of the tropics and subtropics. The warming phase of the sea temperature is known as El Nino and the cooling phase is La Nina. Now that we understand what this means, let's learn about what the warming and cooling phase of these sea surface temperatures means for our weather, also known as El Nino and La Nina. The warming phase, or El Nino, causes warmer and wetter conditions over the equatorial Pacific Ocean. This causes a more active hurricane season for the central and eastern Pacific, due to decreased vertical wind shear, which tears tropical systems apart. Even though El Nino causes a more active season in the eastern and central Pacific, it also suppresses the Atlantic hurricane season, due to an increase in vertical wind shear, trade winds, and atmospheric stability. La Nina on the other hand, or the cooling phase of the equatorial Pacific, causes a decrease in tropical activity across the central and eastern Pacific Ocean, while at the same time causing weaker vertical wind shear and trade winds, as well as more atmospheric instability, which all helps hurricanes develop. For the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season, meteorologists at the Climate Prediction Center are expecting La Nina to last through the summertime, with a slightly lower chance it will last through autumn. So what does this mean? You guessed it. Another above-average hurricane season is expected yet again for 2022. Another factor that plays into hurricane season is sea surface temperatures. As you can see in this map, it's looking like we will see above-average temperatures across the majority of the Atlantic Ocean for the hurricane season, which will definitely help hurricanes develop, perhaps even causing an early tropical system. So now that we have reviewed these factors playing into hurricane season, I wanted to take a moment to talk about the Bermuda High. The Bermuda High is an area of high pressure that sits over the Atlantic Ocean during the summertime, which acts as a block that hurricanes cannot get through. The size and location of this high pressure can determine where tropical systems generally go. So what does this mean for the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season? Early in the season, this high pressure is expected to be situated well west of the Azores Islands, an island chain in the northern Atlantic. This could cause early season storms to impact the United States. As we move into the second half of the hurricane season, this high pressure is expected to shift farther away from the United States, allowing the majority of hurricanes and tropical systems to curve away from the United States before they can impact us. For the next portion of this video, let's talk about my hurricane landfall forecast. All of these coastlines that are shaded in yellow, such as Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, the Northeast, and portions of the Central American coast are under at least a possible risk of a landfall from a tropical system. I do expect the greatest risk of tropical systems making landfall within the coastline shaded in red, across the Gulf Coast, Southeast, and Yucatan Peninsula. And now for my final and overall forecast. I am expecting an above-average hurricane season, with 18 to 20 named storms, 8 to 10 hurricanes, and about 4 major hurricanes. And that concludes my 2022 Atlantic hurricane season forecast. If you are still watching at this point, I hope you like this video. Be sure to subscribe for more weather-related content, and start preparing now for this upcoming season. Thank you and see you soon.